Key to unlocking the development potential of low-income countries is ensuring that development resources are used equitably, efficiently and strategically. Helen Clark, the administrator of the United Nations Development Program, moderated an interactive panel discussion on the first day of this development cooperation forum, where speakers were asked how the $133.5 billion of official development assistance given each year could be used to maximum effect, and how in a world where donor countries are feeling the pinch of financial uncertainty, outflows can still provide vital support for the countries of the global south. The most important catalytic use of aid probably is the aid to increase domestic resource mobilization, remembering that the most important source of development financing is and will continue in the future to be uh, to be uh, domestic resources. How do we ensure that policy interventions that are being advanced by this impetus on investing in women and girls are really addressing the structural causes of gender inequality um, around the world? Thursday concluded with a series of discussions on strengthening capacity building and expanding mutual accountability, along with the special attention that must be paid to post-conflict states and countries facing the risk of violence. These dialogues focus on improving cooperation among countries, civil society organizations and international institutions, while working to provide all of the world's peoples with the tools they need to stay safe and sure of economic security. ECOSOC's week-long high-level segment brings more than 500 delegates to discuss issues on productive capacity, development cooperation and the creation of decent, sustainable work. The segment ends on July 9th with a ministerial declaration. South South News will bring you more of ECOSOC's 2012 high-level segment as tomorrow's session will focus on South South and triangular cooperation as well as global development cooperation. I'm Afaf Kanja for South South News reporting from the United Nations.